20%. Get the heck out of here, Salty Fun. Banju versus Palutena. We saw this in uh, the start of top eight. And that is going to be, uh, of course, uh, Utopian Ray, uh, sponsored by uh, Alcohol. And, uh, of course, Jen, sponsored by currently no one, sponsored Jen. Uh, ah. Go there. Hit him again. Ooh. Lots of damage coming out now for, uh, for Utopian Ray. And one of, of course, the most interesting things about this matchup specifically is, of course, that Ray is a kind of sort of former Palu main. I don't know. He still plays the character quite a lot, but he's been playing a significant amount more Banjo. That is a big punish for Jen. Basically evens up the percents. Nice. And the wonderful part about Jen's Banjo, and what I have seen that is incredible on his uh, behalf, is that he is so good that when he catches that grenade, mixing up to recover, whether or not he holds onto it so he, so he has that recovery mix up, or when he just throws it right back on the stage so he can get a easier time uh, landing. Back row is enough, and that's to be a stock for Utopian Ray. Looking incredibly good so far, and that... So much more incredibly good. Uh, so that's gonna be... Uh, a even game now. F throw, a little bit of damage. It looks like a seed up throw. I think Banjo's don't use up throw enough. But however though, working out right now is uh, Utopian Ray. This Banjo looking pretty solid. Fair into the corner. Uto uh, now the ledge trap coming out from Gen Palutena. Terrifying ledge traps. Lots of long lingering hitboxes. Big grenade for Utopian Ray. Whole lot of percent. The fares, the fares from Utopian Ray have been so, so good. Up air though, Banjo has to get back to the floor. That, that, that down air, really hard to challenge. Those who do not know, Kazooie, despite the fact that she's a living, breathing bird, uh, completely intangible, she is a sword. That is incredible. Oh! Why was that attackable? That's so silly. Devin, why was that attackable? That's so silly. Mm. Calls out the mass on the Brita from Jen. Ready for grab. Back air out of shield, very solid. Will be killing at ledge. Up uh, air, now looking for that Banjo down throw. Up slash going to be a confirm very darn soon, as will that up tilt. Oh! That's it. Oh! <laughs> That was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Uh, Utopian Ray, mashing that up to like his heart's content. Um, not giving him the jump out was Ray. That's back there after the stock. And that is going to be a last stock situation in this game number one between these two players. I think, oh, spooky. That is another one that lasts an absurd amount of time at the ledge. Nice, grenade fair is huge. That is a lot of damage. 29%, a good amount for Ray to be coming back with that 1% on the up air. Another grenade, bringing this percent back now is Utopian Ray. You know how potent Banjo can be with a little bit of rage, and that side B killing ludicrously early. Down tilt, lingers a whole long time. Tough to get back on ledge, especially if you can get up. Again, disjoint. Ah, uh, knowing that uh, uh, Ray was gonna shield there, forced to due to his own grenade. Oh! The, the auto rifle just barely took him out of that uh, Wonder Wing. Oh, that's a stop. Yeah. Oh, I lied. Wonder Wing is bad. Mm. Looking for Jenna Shield. Doesn't give it to him. Banjo's a heavy character, so that might actually work on him. That's without a shield. Looking for one more. Oh, goodness me. Oh, my. The explosive flames are coming out. Oh, good no! <laughs> Look how sad Ray looked. Can we get that replay down? Oh, my word. Look how sad Ray looked when he got comboed by his own grenade into Palo Up Air. He was sad, boys. Look how sad he looked. He had the Mewtwo King face. The half smile, half I'm really sad about this. Stop the battle. Banjo and Kazooie Ah. But yes, 
So, Banjo stays, no surprise. I think Ray has gone pretty much only Banjo today as far as I have seen in the bracket. Uh, I have watched quite a fair amount of his matches, even the ones off stream, and he has looked very, very solid with this Banjo. Um, nice hit, utilization of Dash and the recognition on the match from Jen. Banjo is in business, baby. Oh, no, jumps though. Gets back to us just fine. The grenade kind of saving Ray there as Jen had to come back to, back to the floor. Red Jen spooky with that um, down air. Yeah. The multi hits for Banjo can be kind of tough to deal with. They, uh, at least, ooh. At least Nair looks like it has like a couple more hitboxes than it should have. Oh, looking for that other follow up. Let's look, we get it. Another B reverse immediate. Down throw. No, okay, this looks for. Oh, great call by Ray. No, Jen is going to jump back to the stage. And that is going to be a stock affair from Mr. Banjo and Kazooie. Does he have jumps? I don't think he does. The auto already comes out. The edge guard from Jen. Incredible so far. However, back to stage. 90%. Not a whole lot of extra credit, but something better than the alternative, certainly. That's not going to miss. Not a whole lot of lag, though. After all, beautiful confirmed by Ray as of right now. Oh, my goodness. That is a full 69%. Back throw. Banjo is heavy, though, so he's not going to be dying just yet. And Ray, of course, not falling victim to that up smash. Not neutral get up in into it. Not jumping into it. But that'll be a stock, and that is two up smash kills with set so far for Jen. Uh, getting the punish there. 79% on two. Um, Jen already in the extra credit. That grenade up is a shock. Did not hit Jen as he recovered. Back her down. Oh! Looking for a confirm there into the back air after Green hits block. However, not going to get it. Jen being in advantage once more. Oh. Oh, and Jen just has the faster hitbox to match out. Get off my stage. Jen now at the lead. First time in a little while that he's had it. Big comeback from him. Looking for a grenade trap into... The side B, I believe. Oh, that grenade. Big time lightsaber. Ray, or Ray about to land directly on him. Back air, not going to be enough just yet. While that is a potent multi hit and a kill move, it's not going to be killing at the center of the stage. Oh, we forget it. That's going to be a stock back air enough. And he, he schwalk. There. Oh, that was some. Abysmal DI. Uh, abysmal DI. Ooh, Nair, fair. Looking for the edge guard is Jen now. Big proponent of going deep and getting them kills. Okay, nice little jab by uh, Kobe Ray is going to reset the neutral. I thought going to be enough. Put him in the corner. Uh, Jen, though, comes back with a vengeance with that dash attack. Dash attack once more. Oh, back here, that's invincible. You can't challenge that. You should know all that all you know. You're the, one of the few characters that also has an invincible move. Nice. And we now have that situation where um, uh, Banjo has rage. And he's a heavy, so he might still live a little bit longer. And, he, and Jen is nearing death percent. Ray knows it all too well. He's mashing like nobody can stop him. And uh, unfortunately, not going to work out just yet. Uh, Jen, very much aware of the fact that uh, he was looking for that Wonder Wing and back air on Bad DI. It's two stocks taken for Bad DI is going to be enough for um, Toby and Ray to go down there. Oh? Is this necessary? Is this, is this just like an obnoxious pick so you have a reflector now? Is that the idea? Maybe. What if Ben just side these you? Then you die. Fox definitely dies like earlier than any other character to side B. You just explode. If you're fast falling off the side, you just die, die. Back throw. Yeah, that looks huge versus Fox. Great at two framing, lingers for a really long time. That's a stable block. Hard to react to, that's for sure. However, Banjo in disadvantage. Jens Fox looking good. Grenade uh, gonna block out that illusion. Nice, the reflector super good. Almost confirms off of it. Catches the landing. 
just barely missing. Uh, incredible! He killed himself. No, no, he didn't. I lied. I'm a dummy. Okay, now he killed himself. Ray is drunk. He doesn't have the consistency that he would once have. Oh, big confirms. 37% coming out from Utopia and Rain. Nice stretch of the stock for him. 46. Oh, looking for the uh, jab there. However, not fast enough out of block for, for Fox to not grab ledge even after the side he hits the block. Oh, goodness me, oh my. That would have killed. That would have killed like 2% of goal. Uh. Ray, though. Ledge situation. No projectiles thrown out. Pretty surprised about that. However, ba back up to the ground now is Ray with stage control. Passing Fox on landing. No jump from uh, Jen. That is one of those things that Banjo, while he does have a very good up air in terms of catching landings, it is not exactly that, you know, oomph move that's going to eventually kill. It never kills. Like, I think it's like 300% like it starts killing. Yes, punch him in the face. Oh, Schmix! Schmix, 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 Schmix. Schmix, Schmix, Schmix. Oh, drops. Stop! Savvy up here, baby. Fox OD. Jen coming out with some pretty nice mix, if I must say so myself, to get himself out of that corner and then put himself in advantage. Take that stock down air, looking for the uh, catch on the landing. And Ray is going to get the catch on the landing instead, reversing that situation around with the grenade for him. Oh, no jump from Ray. Great parry by uh, Jen. Now having Banjo in disadvantage, kind of a big deal. As good as Banjo's mix-up can be in disadvantage, uh, Fox is one of the best characters that, of course, um, kind of pressing his own. So, hey, you're gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. No, Ray, you dummy. You idiot, stupid dummy! You dummy, stupid idiot! Ray is wrong. John numbers are still in. I think he lost. Very interesting. Um, but yes, that is going to be uh, Jen and his level nine fox advancing. Of course, I'm gonna keep the joke alive at least for a little while.